We're back from the dead! At least for a little while. And here's Ambipom, so of course he's gonna fake out. Sometimes I like using a Dark Slash Ghost move first, just in case, but you can't really do that, especially not without Team Reveal. So, now that Gengar's in, I'm like, you know, I probably should switch, because this is kind of bad. But, I, you know, I, I can get some big damage in here. I want to see what kind of Gengar this is. You know, maybe I can get somewhere, and, like, that that did nothing. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, and, and I get burned. Okay, I expected of all the things that could go wrong there, getting burned was not one of them, but that's what happened. So, here I'm kind of like, well, he's pretty much useless. He's only going to be good for faking out a couple of things, getting minimal damage in here, and maybe finishing off that Gengar. So even though I'm burned and it's obvious switch, I may as well try. So I tried, didn't work. I kind of thought right there he might go back, but he didn't. I figure, you know what, whatever. Worst case scenario, Tangrow's not going to give a shit and a half about it. That damage, I, okay, he gives at least a full shit. Not a shit and a half, but he at least cares. That hurt more than I thought. So I'm going to put something to sleep while I can. I don't know if this is going to be one of those sneaky little like sleep talk guts kind of dudes, because sometimes that happens. So I'm going to switch out to Zapdos, as that way I'll resist at least both stabs, and he would have to get a crazy lucky Stone Edge off. Um, and there's obviously a chance that that's not even the case at all. Maybe an Infernape comes in, maybe a special attacker of any kind comes in, and Zapdos will be better, unless it's Ice. So, whatever. In comes Zapdos again. I'm not too worried. I know I have T-Wave. I don't want it to Toxic me or put a sub up if it's going to be that kind of guy. So I'm going to go for an attack first, just for whatever. I'm not too really afraid of what it can do to me outside of Toxic as far as damage is concerned. So, goes for a Leaf Storm, it misses. I would have been shocked if it did more than half anyway, or at least significantly more than half, so not terribly upset. And then he endeavors, which I didn't even realize it could do that. I guess he's going to be a fear tile. I, I don't know. All right then, so I got him on a T-Wave, because I knew he wasn't going to sub up that turn. Maybe he'll switch, and he's definitely not going to switch to a ground poke if I'm just now using HP Ice. Um, so I figured it was pretty safe. I could consider Roost stalling here and you know all sorts of fancy jazz. Um, but I'm just gonna kinda go for the kill because that's what I feel like doing. Maybe he'll switch. Wh whatever. That's just what I did. I, I don't, looking at it now, I, I definitely don't agree with it. I probably didn't like it that much at the time either, but whatever. One guy down, that's fine. Tauros comes back in, and based on how much Tangrowth took last time, I don't really want to take another two of those hits. So I'm gonna stay in. Maybe he'll predict a switch. Maybe he'll use Pursuit or something. Thank God Tangrowth didn't come in because that was a crit, and that would have really, really hurt. And I would not have been happy, so Zappy is gone way too quick, which is why killing off Sceptile where I did was probably pretty stupid. But at least now I'll be able to bring in Ucho and uh, maybe hit him with a Vine from below, something really deadly. Something's already asleep, so I gotta hit him, and two crits in a row. Okay, I had a crit hacks Tauros one game, and it was just stupidly unfair. I'm not about to start fighting one here. I get a Leech Seed off, but because of the crit, I can't survive. If I didn't get critted, I'd have no problem staying in here doing whatever the hell I freaking wanted. Uh, that ain't gonna happen right now. So, I either can sacrifice Ambipom, I can sacrifice this guy, I can switch and do I have no freaking idea what. I decide to sacrifice Ambipom, which is probably the right play, because he's not gonna accomplish too much. Fortunately for me, he didn't want to stay in either. And I can actually throw a Shadow Claw out here. I'm kind of expecting Tauros to come right back in. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go for a double hit. Not even going to bother with Fake Out. I'm going straight for a double hit on a Gengar. Because that's what I think is going to happen. And I get it right! That's kind of cool! So I'm Intimidated and Burn. It's going to do nothing, but that's not the point. The point is, I got it right, and I got a crit. Oh, that, 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 just like, that justified why you should care, and why you can't take a single turn off. It felt really good. I'm kind of surprised it didn't do more, honestly, but uh, no big deal. So at least at this point, um, he is a Life Orb Tauros. He'll hurt himself. He won't kill himself, but he'll get really, really close right there. Um, maybe I can be faster. I, I think Ambipom's got higher base speed. I honestly don't freaking remember. Uh, I do. Oh, I predicted Gengar to come back in because I am faster, so it was an obvious I'm going to kill you moment, and he... He made the right one on that choice. I don't regret my decision at all. I think it was good. It just... Whatever. It didn't work. So I bring in something faster. You're definitely going to switch now, right? This is two pokes in a row where I'm going to kill you. And he doesn't freaking do it. Like, what is going on? I get hit with a Giga Impact, and there goes him. But that's fine. He 
sort of did his job. Um, he took out the physical threat, or at least was responsible for it being gone, and I guess that's what your physical wall should do. Um, he didn't have much HP left anyway, so I don't really know what else he really could have done in that match if I kept him. So, not terribly concerned. Uh, here is... Bleh, I know I'm not really going to get through anywhere. I probably should just boost up, but I don't like boosting up when I don't have any information. I don't want to just boost and switch if I don't like it. So, he sets up screens. I decided to get one turn to boost that way. And I don't want to boost again in case he switches somewhere that I can't deal with it. And then because of the screens, I have to switch and waste my boosts. So I'm going to at least attack, get something, we'll see how it goes. It actually does pretty decent damage still, and I get memento. So I'm like, oh, okay, well I have a boost, so I'm minus one. That's still, eh, my defense is, or my special defense is still improved. And I'm still really fast, so it, it's not the worst case in the world. He did, I mean... Really, we both came in at the same time, both at full hit points, both unseen, and his guy is now dead, and I'm still at full hit points, so that's pretty cool. Um, I pull my usual Xerxes and completely forget about screens, and wow, that didn't really do any damage. I wonder why. I mean, I guess it was asleep, so I'm probably safe staying in any way, getting an attack off. Probably. So at least one turn of, hey, let's see how much this does. If it did enough, then just kill it, you know, whatever. If it was Sleep Talk, I would see it try to use Sleep Talk with a scarf, perhaps, or, you know, any sort of thing. But uh, I decided to stay in, because I what else am I really going to do? I mean, it's sleeping. I can't be that afraid. He switches and then comes right back in, so that's kind of a mistake. But I guess from his perspective, what could he do? He can't really stay in, can he? He could have survived a hit, sure. I don't know why he chose Gengar, of course, if you're going to fodder Gengar and go right back to a sleeping poke. So I'm not sure about what was going on with that one. Um... I do make a risky switch into Infernape, but at that point, I did the math, I had counted out, he only had those two guys left, I wasn't terribly afraid, because I knew once screens went down, Espeon took care of that guy anyway, um, we got a Reggie win up in here, but Reggie win's just not quite going to do it, um, figured the best way of dealing with screens is just going to S-Toss, and, uh, I don't know if this one's got T-Wave or Toxic, it's probably T-Wave, so I figured, you know, that'll help if it's going to be his last guy, I don't care about slow start, I'll just get it T-waved, I'll S-toss it for a while, it's it's kind of over, so um, it'll just take a little bit of time at this point, and ta-da! So yeah, I, I want to personally apologize to all you guys, it's obviously been way too freaking long since I uploaded, um, obviously 4th gen doesn't even exist anymore, this was part of my, you know, 4th gen's gonna die, let's make a bunch of battles really quick series, and that was pretty close to a freaking year ago. Um, Work has been kicking my ass, all sorts of fun stuff. I've been going too heavy into Twitch and not really paying attention to YouTube anymore. So I got a lot of backlog videos. I'm hoping I can get to them. I mean, I look at them every freaking day and it bothers me. So don't think that I've forgotten about you guys. You're, you're never going anywhere. You've got a spot right here, right there. And uh, this game is over. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully we'll see more very, very soon. I will catch you later. Peace, guys.